Are you new to anime? Even if you haven't watched the prequel of Zetai Karen Children, the unlimited Hyubu Kusuke, it is alright. You would still be hooked instantly for the very first episode. Interesting characters are portrayed in this series. However, the one that steals the show is, of course, Kyosuke Hyobu. Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today we have an interesting anime character that is not only the main protagonist in the unlimited Hyobu Kyosuke, but also the main antagonist of Zetai Karen Children. How can a character be both an antagonist and a protagonist? Keep watching and you'll also feel the same way. You will pity him. Worship is heroism and at the same time get irritated with his whimsical childish behavior and fear his murderous nature of revenge. Let us start from a flashback. He was born during the chaotic period of the Second World War, and that itself explains his sufferings. Apart from this apparent fact, his family background led to his hateful nature. Yobu's mother was Chinese, while his father was of Japanese origin. Their celestial union did happen out of love as his father was studying his mother's high-level aspire as a scientist and a colonist. However, his mother dies in an accident due to the exploitation of her power beyond limits, an extreme misuse and abuse of her ESP power. It is more of a murder. Loss of his beloved wife, Yobu's father abused alcohol and Hyobu himself. His father wanted to drown his sorrow in alcohol but forgot a part of his love in the form of Hyobu. This is when Hyobu, out of mistreatment and neglect, decides that he must do some good with his power inherited from his mother. However, the hope of light did peep into his life when a wealthy man, Mr. Tsubumi, almost adopted him and treated him like family. He had a daughter, Fujiko Tsubomi, who though loves him like her own big brother, later a major incident would lead to a gap between them, thus becoming rivals. Hyobu leaves this family to join the army thinking that it is the only way to put good use of his power. However, he turns out wrong as he ends up facing the death of his comrades. Not only that, he will be shot by his most trusted superior, Eiji Satomi, as it will be predicted that Hyobu will head towards a war between espers, one with ESP powers and the normals. Once Hyobu realizes the cruel side, he vows to slaughter every single normal and ends up killing every military person involved. This resulted in him facing Fujiko Tsubomi as an enemy as she had forgiven the military and joined hands with them to find Babel. Kiyosuke realizes that the only way to avenge the normals is by gathering his own group of espers which comes to know of Pandra. Among the espers, the characters that really matter are his first ever subordinate, Muscle Okama, followed by his right hand, Chiro Magi, closely followed by the mother figure, Momiji, and a young supporter, Yo Fujiura. Initially, he uses this as a base to perform illegal tasks like arms dealing, criminal activities, and even terrorism so that he could collect resources and at the same time collect contracts for Pandra. However, as we already know, his main focus is to set the Aspers free and even possibly create a world ruled by Aspers. He becomes an ideal leader of Pandra, as he is definitely one of the most challenging multi-powered Aspers ever existed. To get a better imagination of Kyusuke, let us describe him. Born in the 1930s, so he is definitely 80, but doesn't look like one, thanks to his power. The only thing that might hint at his actual age is his silver hair and grayish green eyes. The bullet-shaped scars on his forehead and torso are the witness to the hardships faced during the war. His typical attire is a male school uniform as he needs that disguise to accomplish his missions. Imagine an 80-year-old in school uniform in the real, absurd, right, but the portrayal in the anime is just splendid. Not only multi-powered, but he is also brainy, has high self-esteem, prides over his powers so he is easily provocable. However, he is also caring and loving by nature. Unfortunately, he has more negative qualities like being a bad loser and delegating all his work to his subordinates makes him more of an antagonist than a likable person. You can never guess what comes next as his confidence smirk is enough to hide his emotions. We repeatedly mentioned that Kyosuke is multi-powered. What does it mean? Well, the reason is he can obtain the power of any ESP user who dies near him. Amazing, isn't it? Thus, his abilities are far beyond those of Fujiko Tsubomi, who used to be known as the strongest esper. Such a unique power of this helps him to constantly evolve and develop to such as combining two or more powers or using them simultaneously, making him best for combat. 
He realizes he has this unique power only when through his initial power of psychokinesis sees his friends dying and they had powers like electrokinesis, teleportation, psychometry, pyrokinesis, and hypnosis. Lo and behold, he got all those powers. A serious and darker tone of Yobu became famous in the anime world not only for these powers but also for his adaptation to the triple boost technology which will unlock a full power mode which will cost him one energy life. But still it is this power that has come to be known as the unlimited Hyobu Kyosuke. Every antagonist will have a softer side for Hyobu, it is the birth of Kaoru Akashi. She is the future queen of catastrophe and Hyobu is so attached to her that he lets himself be captured by the Babel, so that he could be near her. Not just that, he stayed with her until she turned 10 and left all the work to the Pandra, which was not taken well by the members. Remaining inactive for a little girl letting down his organization was far-fetched and no wonder Hyobu came to be known as a lollicon among his group. Despite his angst, Hyobu's actions predict the same as he considers her as his sole love interest and is even obsessed over her. When she turns 10, Hyobu tries to attract her and the children as they are meant to be on his side, otherwise Koichi Minamoto will shoot them in the future. But the more he tries, the closer the children get to Minamoto, so later he focuses completely on bringing back the queen to his Pandora organization. Gradually, the antagonist Hyobu turns into a protagonist when he is repeatedly reminded that the future he wants for the young espers, the children, can be acquired by love and hard work rather than war. Exactly now enters the common enemy, thus Hyobu completely transforms in order to protect the children from Black Phantom, who not only deal with arms but also kidnap espers so that they could be sold out as brainwashed assassins. So guess what's next? He wages a war against Black Phantom, but unfortunately it leads to the harm of the children. So now his only way out is joining hands with Babel, as otherwise with just Pandra, it is quite impossible to save the Aspers. Alongside, it is found that Kiyosuke is ill as his heart has become weak due to his age. Remember, he is 80, so at times he has to refrain from fighting and has to treat himself for recovery. Time is short, will he be able to save the children, the queen of catastrophe, make an alliance with Babel and disband the Black Phantom? So much to do, so little time. He will regret being an antagonist most of his life, but for us, that was what kept us going back to Zetai Karen children, the unlimited Hyobu Kyosuke. Well, all we can do is wait and watch. Hope you enjoyed our video. If you did, hit us with the like button and comment down below what it is you like about Hyobu Kyosuke. Remember to subscribe to us for more interesting videos and select the bell icon to know further updates about our upcoming videos. We'll see you on the next one.